you get her to come meet you up or you get her whatever you meet in her someplace and then your conversation just suck right and so that's where you guys lose out a lot of it yeah. Okay, you aren't getting enough emotional buy-in during the buildup. All right, so what do I mean by that? So you come up to a girl and be like, "Hey, how, you know, how's it going?" She's like, "Not ah, good. Yeah, you, you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Well, cool. Well, I gotta go over there. Hey, why don't I get your phone number?" She's like, "Um, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Sure, I guess." You're like, "All right, cool. I'll see you later." All right, so there's your interaction, right? Um. Yeah, she might answer you. She thought you were hot enough. But is there much emotional buy-in in that little interaction? Is she really thinking this guy's like super hot guy? I mean, she might be, but probably doubtful, right? That's pretty low impact, you know? Now, what if you do, of course, you know, open and then you guys start talking a little bit and you start getting into questions. You make her laugh a little bit. She starts asking you questions. So you get a little deep into the conversation. You're actually having fun with this person, even if it's only for two minutes. And then, you know, you break contact. You're like, yeah, you know, I see you with your friends. I got to, my friends are going over there. So let me grab your number. Well, let's, let's talk. Let's, let's meet up later or something. Oh yeah. Cool. Right. Having a good interaction, even if it was like a passing interaction, because let's say really, you're leaving the place and she's got her friends and it's super passing. That happens sometimes. What's better having some emotional buy-in during what I call the buildup. The buildup is the conversation. So you have your opener, right? Where, Hey, what's up? How's it going? What you drinking? Did you see that fight outside? You know, you look cute, <laughs> whatever. I don't, I don't usually start with compliments personally, but sometimes people do whatever, you know, that's your opener, right? And your close is, you know, what are you doing later? Let's meet up. You know, where, where are you guys off to? Come with me. Text your friends <laughs> to, to meet up with us. I want, let's go over here after a longer conversation, preferably. Or, you know, let me get your number, call you later. That shit, right? That's your close, okay? Well, what happens in between that? That's your build up. You're building up from, hi, I'm a stranger, to this guy's cute or attractive and I would sleep with him under the right circumstances. That's, and then some sort of close to move that interaction along. Right. And so maybe that's, you know, Hey, let's go sit over here. You get compliance, move to one location to another, or, you know, you guys are fun. Well, come with, tell your friends, come with us. We're going to another place or go to my place. I got food, you know, like whatever you're moving the interaction along. Okay. And there's, in between that, there's this banter. This is conversation. It's that conversation is where all that money's made. All right. And so that's, I say the money, of course. I mean, that's when the most, she gets the most sort of a, a, a buy-in to want to be around you. That as well as following your lead, those two things. All right. And so, which, which I, I already allude to what my number, my next number is, but so problem with a lot of guys is they just don't have good conversations. They have dull conversations. They're too focused on the opener. They're too, they struggle with the close. And so they're too focused on how do I close this thing? Right. And that can all be resolved with some basic rehearsals and practice, but your close should be simple and seamless. In fact, if you're doing well enough, she'll oftentimes close on you. Okay. The close is relatively seamless when your interaction is, is good. When the, when she has a strong attraction during the co actual conversation you're having, which is what I call the buildup, that's what makes your close seamless. Your opener could be awkward and ridiculous. It actually doesn't matter if, as long as you deliver it with confident enough body language, and then you end up in a conversation. Now, of course, Good openers can be valuable. Good openers on the internet, so dating apps and social media, that's more important because that's the only way you can grab her attention. Whereas in person, they don't have a choice but be in front of you. Do you know? But um, 
it's that conversation that you're in. And so in, in when I teach guys and what I'll train you in the course, if you jump in the course and sign up below is how to talk, what I call going wide and what I call going deep. So you have a series of topics and what guys will do is a lot of times they'll get stuck on it or they'll, they'll try something like, Oh, so what'd you do today? Ah, I just worked. Oh, where do you work at? And then they'll, but she doesn't want to talk about work. Work is not interesting to her. And so the guys will get stuck on a topic that is dull to her and her emotional buying is really low. And then they never pivot from that topic. You know what I mean? And so they don't, they, they end up having like a job interview style conversation or they're just not flowing to anything that's interesting, you know? And so they're not being interesting and they're not engaging her in an interesting conversation or asking interesting questions. And so when you go wide, it's the ability to, when you recognize there's low interest here to be able to pivot to the next thing or the next thing and having a read on her, on top of it, so you know what to pivot to. You can get a read on a girl and tell what kind of shit she might be responsive to and what she's not going to be responsive to. And so you hit and hammer on a topic that she's responsive to, and then boom, it, it kind of ignites a little bit more of an interest. And then from there, you can go deep into that conversation. You add that with authority and you know, in, in compliance and location changes and all kinds of stuff. Now you have a girl that will sleep with you the same night or you have, you know, things working out really well for you. All right. So going wide in terms of, okay, I have a number of topics I can talk about and hammer on. And if she's not interested in one thing, it's pretty dull. I can pivot into something else, something funny, something total fantasy, ridiculous, something, you know, uh, more interesting or deep or whatever, you know, and then going two or three levels deep. And what I mean by that is just the emotional, you know, the response. Okay. So instead of, you know, surface level stuff, you can get a little bit deeper and even just doing that for two minutes, giving a two minute interaction where it's a unique conversation that stimulates some emotion what ends up happening if, if you only had two minutes to then do some sort of a close, like you're either coming with me right now or exchanging numbers. Well, that's if you inspired some emotion and some buy-in and, and stimul that stimulated her desire, you're going to go, it's going to go. Okay. All right. But if you, it's going to go well for you. If you don't do that though, that's why you're failing. And so a lot of guys are just dull in the conversation. And when you get a girl actually on the date or get her out or whatever, that's where the money's made. And some of, and that's, that's where you guys actually get out on the girl one-on-one, -on -one, right? Like, so whether it's the same night or a different night, you get her out, get her to come meet you up or you get her whatever you meet in her someplace. And then your conversation just suck. Right. And so that's where you guys lose out a lot of it. And don't expect a girl to carry the conversation because girl game sucks. She's not good at it. Okay. And so she's used to having a lot of attention. Women, even especially the really pretty ones can be very lazy with this stuff. And they expect a guy to lead and to lead that conversation. And if she's not having a good conversation, the chances of her going, you know what, I'm just a really boring person to talk to is pretty low. You know what I mean? She's going to figure that you're the problem and not definitely not sleep with you. So even if the chick is a total fucking, you know, just dope, right? And just boring, I'm at least going to be interesting. And I'm going to stimulate some sort of emotion during that conversation, even if it comes down to negative uh, compliments or, you know, messing with her a little bit or just, just being funny or even just, you know, learning when to ignore her and talk to her friend. I'm going to stimulate some sort of emotion there. And that's what you guys need to do. And uh, that's the reason you're failing is you're not doing enough of that. Okay. And that comes with practice and certainly how you can't be, you can't have your inner game all fucked up. Right. And be taking things personal. If she's just not seeming to be that responsive or whatever. Um, there's been plenty of times myself and my clients have had started with a girl who is low on a level of responsiveness, who ends up sleeping with them that same night. You know what I mean? But that's because they know how to push, pull and, and string that, that interaction along, um, getting, 
her eventually more bought in and, and, and to lead them with their authority to where they want. All right. So, so you can't, can't, you know, take things personal. You just got to get better. You got to get better at engaging people. Thank you.